Hello and welcome to Excel Fundamentals. In today's video, we're going to cover filtering in Excel. We'll also do a keyboard shortcut for filtering and do a little introduction to sorting your filters. So to kick it off, let's do the basics on how to create a filter in Excel. So here I've got a little table with my column titles or my column headers and all the data beneath. So one way you can create a filter in Excel is you highlight your column headers and you can come up to this editing box right here, click the sort and filter icon and click filter and that's it. And these little arrows open up your filter and allow you to look at all the ways and all the things you can do with your filtering. So before we explore this, I'm going to show you two more ways to create um, those filter headers. Okay, so the next way you can create your filter header is by coming up to data over here, clicking data, and then again clicking this filter icon, and boom, there you have your filters again with the arrows. And I'm going to hit undo. And the last way you can create your filters is you highlight them again and you hit Control Shift L on your keyboard. And there they are. And I'll type it out here Control Shift L. You hold all those three while you have your headers highlighted, and that will give you your filters. Okay, so now that we've created our filters, let's explore some of the things we can do with the filters. So over here, let's look at this column first, customer name. I can sort my customer name A to Z. Make, if you want to do it alphabetically or reverse alphabetically. Another cool thing you can do is let's say you have lots and lots of rows of information, hundreds of rows, and there's one specific customer you want to pull up. So you can actually hit this arrow and type in the customer name here. So I want to look up the mom and pop shop. So I'll start typing in the customer name. And there it is, mom and pop shop. And it's highlighted, it's checked, and there's nothing left now. So I know that this is the only thing it's going to show me. Hit OK. And there you have this customer and all the other information associated with this customer. So I'll hit select all and get all the information back in. And here I have my spend groups. So I had categorized these businesses by how much they spent with me in September. Less than a thousand, between a thousand and five thousand, or more than five thousand. So let's say in spend group, I only want to look at those customers who spent less than a thousand. So I could understand maybe why or what's going on, or maybe there's some pattern. So I'll deselect everything and only check less than a thousand and hit OK. And here they are the family business company, the deli on the corner, and the ABC company. So maybe these are smaller businesses, smaller companies, so that's why they're not spending much with us. So we'll reselect everything. And another cool thing you can do is over here on customer sales, you can sort your customers from sm your values from smallest to largest, or in the reverse, largest to smallest. You can also exclude only one thing. So you'll often, you may often find that you have lots and lots of rows with a zero value, and you want to exclude only the zeros. So you could come in here to your filter and click this number, click the zero, and now it'll show you everything except the zero, and hit OK. Now let's reselect this, and we'll do one more cool thing. This is a little more advanced, but we'll do a little introduction to some advanced filtering functions. Um, you can come into your filter and go to number filters and over here you can choose greater than or less than and some of these other options so for example let's say I only want to look at those customers who spent more than two thousand dollars so I can offer them some kind of a promotion print plan you can hit greater than and type in two thousand hit OK and there you go now it's only showing me the customers that met the criteria that I gave it and yep, there you go. That was a cool little introduction to creating filters in Excel and some sorting in Excel. I hope you enjoyed that video and keep an eye out for some follow-ups on sorting and filtering in Excel.